So today I'm working in my 5x8 Dilutions small journal and as you can see I've torn some pages from a dictionary, one with the word splendid and the other one with the word marvellous on it, which are the inspirations really for this page. I discovered amongst my um, files on my computer some vintage images that I downloaded from a public domain site quite some time ago and there was one particular image, a cabinet card image, that I hadn't used yet and I was kind of inspired to use it. So as you can see I'm gluing down the dictionary pages completely as they are. I'm not tearing them up or making them into strips or anything or fragmenting them. I'm just using them as a whole. I'm just sticking down that first page with the word marvellous on it and then I'm going to repeat the same process with the word Splendid, so that's on the right hand page. I'm going to make sure that it's all nicely stuck down and as free from bubbles and wrinkles as you're ever likely to get it. So making sure that the pages are completely sealed and stuck down, obviously I will need to make sure that they are completely dry and I did do a little bit of an experiment. I know some people say that you need to also add the Mod Podge onto the back of your um, piece of paper that you're sticking down and you won't get bubbles and wrinkles, so I did it a different way on both pages and to be honest it didn't make the slightest bit of difference whether you put it on the back or not. So. It was worth a try. Anyway, so as I was saying, I need to make sure these are completely dry before we move on and start adding some colour. So I'm going to grab my heat gun and give them a really good blast and make sure that they are completely dry and sealed before we move on. So the first colour I'm adding is Brilliant Red. It's the Brilliant Red acrylic paint from Reeves and I'm just going to completely cover both pages with the red with a baby wipe. I'm not going to use the brush, I don't really need it. I just need a, an even coating right the way across both of the pages. Now, because the, this Reeves paint that I've got is quite old, I will need to do a second coat um, because it has started to break down. It does go quite powdery and a little bit white. So I will add a second coat in a few seconds. Now that I've added my second layer of red paint, it's time to start adding in a little bit of detail, but obviously I have to dry the red first. And my first bit of detail, my first detail layer, is going to be with the Mars Black acrylic paint, again from Reeves, and this is a new damask stencil from Indigo Blue. Um, it's brand new, and I think it's only just been released, and I got mine, and it wasn't even a packet. It was just as is. So I'm giving it a test out on this page, because I want to make the background of this page look quite old, kind of Victorian-y, so a nice damask wallpapery effect is a great backdrop for the image that I've got. So as you can see I've applied the black paint through the stencil with a cosmetic sponge and I've only put it in three areas creating a visual triangle around the page. So I still have some of the black paint left over so I'm going to mix some titanium white paint with that to create a darkish grey and then I'm going to use my time travel stencil from TCW and again another cosmetic sponge which are very inexpensive and very 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 disposable um, but you can wash them out and use them again I just don't bother uh, and I'm just going to apply that grey paint just through and add some um, time elements to the background. So I'm only adding a couple of the time elements to the background of the page because I know where I want to put my focal image and if I add one any further down on that left hand side of the page it's going to be covered up by my image that I want to add to the page so I don't really think there's any need for it. So it's time to add my main focal image and this is the image that I have had sitting in my 
stash on my computer for quite some time so I've slightly resized it and I've already printed it out and cut it out just with a craft knife and I'm just going to glue it down onto my page using the matte medium from Mod Podge and this is the cabinet card that I've had sat there for quite some time and all I did to alter it was just to add one of the built-in filters in the Adobe Photoshop program so I've not done anything startling just one little filter and it changes it to that effect so now it's all down and it's been sealed with the Mod Podge I can bring out my uh, artist pit pens these are the Ind India ink pens from Faber Castell and the beauty about these is, is that when you put them onto a non-porous surface which that my image now is because it's got that seal of Mod Podge on it is that you can blend them with your finger and move them around a little bit until they're dry once they're dry they are completely permanent but while they're still wet you can blend them quite nicely with your finger or even a q-tip or a little cotton bud uh, or even with a brush if you want to. These pens are ideal if you want to breathe new life into an old black and white or sepia photograph that you have because you can blend them so easily and with them being permanent they're absolutely brilliant for doing this little job and there are quite a few colours that you can purchase and they're not that expensive. So I'm happy with the colour touches that I've added to my focal image so all I need to do now is just to make sure that they are nice and dry, make them permanent and so they won't move so I'm just going to bring up my heat gun and give them a quick blast to make sure that everything is nice and dry and set before we move on. So I'm going to add my phrase or my quote to my page now so again I'm just using the matte medium I'm just adding some colour to the back I've already typed it and printed it out on my computer because I wanted a different font than what my label maker can supply this time so that reads as you can see whatever you do just be splendid still got out my pit pen so I'm just going to go around the word block and add a little bit of shadow to it just go all the way around and add a little bit of darkness I am going to bring out my white pen later on just to add some highlights to it because I want to make sure that there are some white bits in there because my main figure has a white border all the way around him so I need to be able to tie that in begin the process of tying the white into the page I've got my titanium white acrylic paint and a, an old stencil that I've had for absolutely ever from Imagination Crafts here in the UK and this is called the honeycomb stencil as you can see so I've now got three elements on my page I've got clocks for me which signifies time I have my damask wallpapery effect in the background which signifies home and I have a honeycomb pattern which also for me signifies work so the phrase whatever you do just be splendid for me is so whatever you're doing whatever time you're spending whether it's with friends or whether it's at work or whether you're at home relaxing just be splendid be the very best person that you possibly can <music> 
to finish off my page I just wanted to add some white highlights with my white pen so I'm just using a rule and I'm just going to draw a kind of stylized box around the word block and then using the same rule I'm going to go all the way around the outside border of my page just adding a little border a kind of frame just to finish it off and that will be enough for me. So now the board is complete, I'm very happy with the way the page has turned out. Um, it's exactly the way I imagined it in my head for a change. So all I have to do now is just to sign and date it. And then this page is complete. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this process video start to finish and if you have please remember to give it a thumbs up, share the video with all your friends and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from me for now, I will see you all again real soon. Bye for now.